altcoin is the term you might come across daily in your lives, and you probably wonder what it exactly means. Well, wonder no more. It means going to the moon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's good merch. In this video, we'll be explaining what altcoins means and which are the top five altcoins to invest in right now. And yes, I'm reading this off a script. I'll explain everything. I'll just wait. Hello, everyone. And welcome to my YouTube channel, Inspector Mindblow. Today we will be learning about the top five altcoin currencies. Make sure you hit the subs <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you never miss out on an informative, educative, and funny video. It's a little too much self hype, Tony. Too much, eh? Okay. I'll tone it down for the next one. Okay, okay, I'll explain now. Back in March, I got a guy from Fiverr to write top five altcoin predictions, like top five altcoins to invest in, and as I'm going through the list right now, all of them are kind of valid still today. So this will be my top five altcoins to invest in for July, but I will also be going over these top five altcoins from March and see how they stack up. I will be mostly using the same coins though, except for one coin, which is kind of already mooned which is okay i'll give it away it's dogecoin this guy said dogecoin way before um everything exploded so i guess you listen to fiverr guys you can get rich not <laughs> don't do that that's not smart look this is serious i also gotta preface this by saying i'm not a financial advisor so and us youtubers are not here to give you advice on where to invest your money we're here to give our opinions about stuff and it's up to you to decide where you want to invest your money since i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a youtuber let's get this video on the road to enhance split chain business process and management v chain was introduced into the cryptocurrency market the main idea behind v chain was to modernize the flow of information in complex chains using distributed ledger technology there are only two noticeable tokens vtho for v chain thor energy and vet for the VeChain token. They both have their specific purposes. VTHO is used for fueling the smart construct transactions and VET for transferring values across the VeChain's network. VET or VET has a market cap of 4 billion as of this article being written, but right now the fully diluted market cap is sitting at 6 billion 500 million and the market cap is almost at 5 billion. So not too big of a difference percentage wise from this article being written to right now so that's why i decided to keep most of this and also definitely be sure to stick around until number one because you're gonna want to find out what it is it's my favorite coin of all time to make transactions secure vchain uses a technology called radio frequency identification or rfid that provides information about a transaction only to the authorized parties the platform virtually gives its stakeholders access to their data and information and use it to their benefit benefits moving on to number four we got the bat token or the basic attention token now if you notice which browser i'm in right now when i'm browsing to coin market cap seeing what all the market caps are seeing all the coins seeing everything browsing the interwebs pretty much i'm using the brave browser oh this totally looks topped out to be honest like looking at a glance right now it does look topped out it does look like the bull run is over but i don't fret i don't care i hope it's not you can never know though but yeah since the video was recorded in march uh the price was somewhere around here and then it topped out should have sold price went all the way back to here which makes uh this list that i have right here more valid than ever right so moving on to number four we got the basic attention token and as i said i'm using the brave browser which is powered by the basic attention token as you can see right here i have a 0 0.29 basic attention tokens right now for this month just for clicking x on a few ads that pop up so not only does the brave browser block trackers and ads not only does it save bandwidth and time but you also get paid in the basic attention token whenever you see an ad so that's pretty much all i have to say about the basic attention token if you want to learn more i have a full video it will be linked down in the description on how to earn money online and one of those ways is by using the brave browser obviously you cannot earn a living of the brave browser but might as well earn a few extra bucks on the side when browsing the internet because you're doing it anyway might as well do it on brave and get paid for it number three as i said dogecoin this was back in march so let me actually kind of compare statistics right here so if we go all the way back to march dogecoin was so low it was right here right here so even if you bought right then and sold now you would still have like a massive profit of 150 percent i think to here so not if you sold the top 
It's almost one dollar. Holy heck, that's insane. But yeah, this guy definitely got it right as far as Dogecoin goes. Um, and let's see what he wrote. Invented by Bickley, Marcus and Jackson Palmer. I didn't know that. Dogecoin is one of the hottest altcoins going around the market right now. It was inspired by a fun payment method while being instant and free from traditional bank charges. Dogecoin was introduced on December 6, 2013. It developed its audience and plethora of investors in no time. And currently has a market cap of almost 5.4 billion US dollars. Now let's see where we are right now. We are at 28 billion. Wow. Okay, he got the Doge right. He got the Doge right. I would still say the Doge... I would still say the Doge is not a bad investment because by the looks of it, a lot of people believe in it. And as long as people believe in something, it's worth a lot of money. So I do not think that investing in Doge is a bad decision at this point and at this price range. I am not invested in Dogecoin right now. I was invested back in March. I have sold my Dogecoin just because it's way too volatile for me. It's way too... Un un you just don't know what to expect from it. Like Elon Musk tweets something, it goes up. Elon Musk tweets something else, it goes down. It's unpredictable, and I don't like it. But other than that, to the moon, boys! To the moon! All right, let's see what we have at number two. Cardano. What? No, it's Cardano. Now, guys, of course, I know what Cardano is. <laughs> Most of my crypto portfolio is in Cardano. I truly believe in this coin. I truly believe in this project. I am staking my own Cardano on the Daedalus wallet. And I will make a video about the top five wallets, in my opinion, somewhere down the road, probably within the next seven days. Cardano calls itself a third generation blockchain technology in which they have promised to overcome the scalability problems of the first and second blockchain generation technologies, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum, Bitcoin being generation one, Ethereum being generation number two, um, because they have smart contracts and all of that. But that's not the only reason why we have to put it on number two. The core heart of Cardano is the proof of stake protocol, which is mainly designed to decrease the duration of time in which it takes a transaction to take place. Taking less time means saving more energy, which has been greater problem for miners. Why do miners have problems? I thought miners can't invest at all. To make it less, less of an alien talk, the infrastructure of Cardano is divided into two layers, the Cardano settlement layer, CSL, and the Cardano control layer. The first layer is used to settle transactions for its native cryptocurrency ADA, well, the second layer is mainly under development, which I will try to discuss briefly. The control layer consists of epochs, which are slots to distribute the exact physical time. The epochs are then handed over to the slot leader who is responsible for adding epochs to the blockchain in a given specific time. Okay, this really does sound like crazy talk for anyone who is like not into blockchain, who's not in crypto, just wants to invest something, he probably doesn't understand anything. So I'm gonna try and make it simple. Uh, epochs usually last five days, they always last five days. And by the end of an epoch, if you're staking your Cardano, you will get paid by the end of every epoch. So every five days you get paid. There you go, that's simple English. And for those of you who don't know what staking is, it's basically a form of mining, whereas you don't actually use your graphics card to do the work, but you put in your money, and your money does the work for you that your graphics card would do when mining. So that's staking. Explained in very, 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 very simple word. But let's check Cardano's native token, ADA. It's currently sitting at $1.33 and a market cap of $42.5 billion. It does not look topped out right now, to be honest. And uh, the top was... What, what was it, $2.3? Yeah, but looking at this, at a previous stop out, it kind of does look similar. Kind of does look similar, but I don't, I don't want to get into it. My head is just going to hurt. The graph is not looking too promising. But yeah, right now we are sitting at $1.3. And usually my buy place for Cardano is from $1.2 to $1.3. So whenever I see Cardano at $1.3, I just immediately buy 500 pieces of ADA. If it keeps falling, I buy 500 more, 500 more, 500 more. Once it goes up, I sell some of that, uh, the other I put into staking, and that's what I do with Cardano, but that's just me, and this is not financial advice. On to number one, ladies and gentlemen, we got Chainlink. A cryptocurrency I have recently invested in for the first time, even though I've heard about it for a long time. It's been around for a while. It's a really good technology solving a lot of big problems in the industry. Now, let's see what he says right here. Chainlink was founded by CEO Sergey Nazarov. It is used for providing security to smart transactions and contracts without tampering with your data on any blockchain. It was founded in 2014 for a way to bring external data onto the blockchain. It in turn gave birth to Chainlink, enabling smart contracts to connect to data feeds from any data source. This was a game changer for the blockchain technology or industry. The first iteration of smartcontract.com 
Oracle's solution was dependent upon centralization oracles, posing an obstruction for the development of the decentralized finance space. So, pretty much in simple English, in order for this to work, uh, Sergey or whoever was in charge at that point needed to use uh, to use centralized protocols such as centralized exchanges and anything that's like centralized and the centralized would be like this you know what i mean like binance is centralized but pancake swap is decentralized or uniswap is I'll, I'll, I'll just shut up you know it's, it's kind of difficult putting all this in simple words and then i know some of you people who are more into crypto will be like what the hell are you talking about it's not like that at all but what i'm trying to do is just explain in very simple words to those people who don't know much about blockchain to try and comprehend and understand it so that's really what i'm trying to do not not really explain point by point how decentralization works because if i did that it would require a whole separate video on its own anyhow the innovative concept introduces new ways for smart contracts to be used, since blockchains are generally intended to operate as trustless network. Using outside data requires integration with a trusted source or an oracle. Through decentralization, the Chainlink network can verify oracle integrity, order match and aggregate results to ensure that all the data being sourced is valid. Now apart from that, Chainlink or the native token link has a huge community some would argue toxic community i wouldn't say that i love the chainlink community i also have, hold chainlink on my own i have actually recently bought chainlink with this huge dip going on here it was just a perfect time for me to buy some chainlink so i did and chainlink's peak was over 50 dollars right now it's sitting at 17.99 dollars yeah 17.99 now that's a discount <laughs> <laughs> because of 99 get it okay i'll shut up and chainlink's current market cap is sitting at almost eight billion dollars and the fully diluted market cap is 17.9 billion with a b billion dollars but yeah there you go top five cryptocurrencies for july or even august i don't know if this list will also work for august but i reckon it will and then for september it won't september needs a whole nother list on its own because september will be the bomb the bull run will continue i'm super hyped <sighs> okay there you go that's the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll check you next time. Bye-bye and stay awesome.